Fishy friends, welcome to Alaska. Welcome to King Salmon. King Salmon is a little village near Bristol Bay. And this is Neck Neck River. And Neck Neck River is famous for its wild salmon. We're in the middle of the season and there's sockeye salmon and there's also king salmon. I've never cooked with king salmon before in one of my videos. And I'm going to make king salmon tacos from king salmon. So today we serve with the tacos, cabbage, here's avocado, jalapeno and spring onion and then we serve on top of these veggies with the king salmon a pico de gallo this pico de gallo today is going to be tomato red onion red chili lime juice a bit of salt so first step today we're gonna de-skin the king salmon fillet look at the color look at this wild salmon and if you cannot find king salmon by the way you can swap easily the species by sockeye salmon well any salmon you can find good I'm going to make the pico de gallo. First, I'm going to finely cut in brunoise, in little cubes, a tomato. So this is a big tomato. I would use like maybe half a tomato. Okay. Add this into the bowl. Okay, red onion. This is a big one. So I'm using like half a red onion. And again, I slice it in cubes. Add this to the bowl. Okay, spice it up. Chili, because I really like to taste that full flavor of king salmon. I'm not using the seeds. I will have the seeds out of the chili. So chop it really fine. We can use green chili too. Okay, a bit of lime zest. And then the juice. Pico de gallo. Salt. Perfect. And now first I'm going to cut the veggies to top off the taco. I might choose this bit, the cabbage. Take off the outer leaf, give some crispiness to the dish. Then, avocado. So to avoid coloring, add some juice, some lime juice on top of it. I have some jalapeno and slice it. Boom. And then, Spring onion, and I roughly cut these. And then we start with our king salmon fillet. I'm going to pan fry these, but first I pan fry them in larger pieces because you want to have that juiciness, the real flavor of king salmon on top of your taco. Season it, a bit of salt, both sides. Don't be afraid for this color. This is part of the salmon. This is delicious meat too. I'm not going to discard it. At my frying pan, middle to high heat. Splash of oil. I gave it like maybe one minute each side, that's all. Because you want to have a juicy, tender inside. Keep it short, you don't want to overcook fish. That's the worst thing which can happen. It's gonna be rubbery, dry. You want to keep that flavor into the fish. You never can undercook fish. Think about raw fish on sushi. King salmon, beautiful. Okay, hot pan, tacos. Here we go, 15 seconds, just to warm them up. Time to build up. Cabbage. Just build it up the way you like. I'm starting with the veggies, and then we top it off with the king salmon, a bit orange, then we have the pico de gallo. It's gonna be amazing. I tear the salmon, perfectly cooked king salmon. On top, jalapeno. And some spring onion. Time for a taste. Mmm. Wow, this is so good. Well, first the king salmon, the creaminess, the oiliness, it's so full of flavor. And then with the veggies and this bit sour kick of the pico de gallo, which is not overwhelming. It's so easy and quick to make, but so super delicious. Well, thank you, Alaska. Thank you, King Salmon. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any comments, any questions, please leave them down in the box below and hope to see you soon on another Fishy Friday.